A Fight of the Titans. Astro Pixel Processor versus Pix Insight. Who does the better stacking? Let's find out. This is View Into Space. I'm Sasha from Switzerland, so grüezi miteinander. Thank you for watching my channel and let's get right to it. But first, I want to clarify something. When it goes to processing, there is no way around Pix Insight. Things like the photometric color calibration cannot be replaced by any other tool. So we're only talking here about the pre-processing part, about the stacking. And yes, I'm not the first who does this comparison. There's a lot of other videos around who did exactly the same comparison. So why do I do it again? Because I fundamentally disagree. You see, what a lot of these others, YouTubers, bloggers did is they took perfect data sets, wonderful compositions, perfectly done, and they processed it with all these softwares. And yes, the conclusion was always the same. It doesn't matter. You can take whatever you want and you get approximately the same output, which would be expected. Now, you usually don't do tests like that in the real world, right? If you want to test some cars, you don't let them drive on a very plain road, just straight ahead. And they, they, all these cars can drive straight ahead. The differences show when the terrain gets rough. And it's right the same here. So let me tell you a story. I was shooting Orion and I had this wonderful idea that I would also, beside the regular exposures, take 10 second exposures with a narrow band filter just to be able to isolate these stars right in the nebula and then combine it with the other one. So I took 110 second exposures this way. And this is one of these pictures. So, A, 10 seconds was not long enough, that's for sure. So there's not much to see. This is stretched, and here we have it stretched to the max. There is also a lot of other crazy stuff going on here. So the back focus was not 100% okay. So we have some elongated stars. It's not 100% in focus. So let's sum it up. This picture is crap. Now there's this saying, crap in, crap out, right? And I agree, that's what I would expect. But what I don't like is when the crap gets stuck in the middle. So what do I mean with that? When I shoved these 100 pictures into the Pix Insight weighted batch pre-processing, Pix Insight told me, no way, I cannot find any stars, I will not process them. So I was like, yeah, just bring it on. I will just change the settings and it will work. And I tried everything. So at the end, I went to the star alignment process and just tried out every setting to change everything. And let me show you just in a nutshell how this turns out. So we're working here with a sample of three pictures out of the 100. I opened them unchanged in PixInsight. And as you can see, if you look at some core stars, they are at the same place in each of the three pictures. So manually, you could actually stack them quite successfully. So let's go to the star alignment process and try this out. So I entered now one picture as the reference, the other two here as the target images. I defined an output directory and I leave everything unchanged as in the defaults. And what you can see here, error, unable to find an initial set of putative star pair matches. So the next thing we do, we change everything. So we change the maximum distortion. We go up with the tolerance of Franzak. We move the iterations up. We go up with the detection scales to the maximum. We can move the log sensitivity down. And we try it again. And we have the same result again. And you can try it with any other option here. You will not change the result. It will always give you an error. 
So now what you're probably thinking is, Sasha, you're a noob at Pix Insight. So an expert could do it. And I thought so too. <laughs> so I went to a forum with 14,000 Pix Insight users and gave them the challenge. And nobody could do it. So okay, perhaps it's impossible, right? But then there are stars in there, so in principle, it should be feasible. I don't see a reason why it's not. And so what I did, I just downloaded Astro Pixel Processor and I shoved the whole thing in there. And the first time it failed too. But then the second time when I just adjusted the settings a little bit, it ran through without a problem. And that's the final picture. Now, yes, it's still not a great picture. It still has the elongated stars, but it is a picture. So that's what I would expect from the perfect stacking software, that I don't have to have the perfect set of pictures, but that whatever I deliver, as long as it's stackable, it stacks. And since I'm using Astro Pixel Processor, it has delivered that every time. Even in other cases where I compared it, in PixInsight, sometimes it just takes 60 out of 100 pictures. In Astro Pixel Processes, if you want them to, it takes all the 100. So having since then gone really deep into Astro Pixel Processor, I discovered a lot of possibilities that you don't have with PixInsight when we're talking about the stacking part. And so Astro Pixel Processor is by far my favorite when it goes to stacking. And I changed my workflow now accordingly that I stack with Astro Pixel Processor and then process the pictures with PixInsight. And from my perspective, this gives you by far the best results and the least problems. So, that was it already. By the way, I put three sample pictures from this cursed batch in a OneNote container and put a link in the description below, just if you're interested and if you want to try if you can make it work in PixInsight. Please tell me what you experienced and also please tell me if you see some advantages in stacking with PixInsight compared to Astro Pixel Processor. I'm interested. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and press the subscribe button below. Helps the channel. Thanks a lot. Clear skies and see you next time.